Hello, welcome to Hank's Maker Mentor. Today we're going over how to make this camping bucket, which you don't have to use for camping, but it works great for all sorts of decor. Um, outside it's waterproof and very fun and festive, but also really easy and beginner friendly. So when we apply it, we're gonna do the orange, the green, right there, and then the brown on top. Just The brown will just give it a little bit of definition and accents. I actually need to go top to bottom. So my first one is actually going to be um, the brown. I'm gonna come here, just kind of go down. And I'm just gonna give that just a little rub. And I'm gonna cut off a lot of the extra. It cuts so smooth, it's really nice. And just roll it back up and cut off a bunch of the extra from the top as well. All right, so I'm giving this a little rub, so now I'm gonna actually pull this backing off and just very carefully making sure that everything's staying on the transfer tape that's supposed to. So now I have that top layer on the transfer tape and I'm going to work on the green layer next. And one thing I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier is I'm gonna grab some wax paper and it's just normal wax paper and I'm going to set it down on my work surface um, this way and then I'm gonna put this there and what I need to do is I need to make sure I line it up so um, I'm actually only going, so I'm actually gonna lay this right here and then put down another sheet of wax paper underneath. And put this on it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be able to pull back just part of this. So I'm not trying to apply the whole thing in one piece. So this works really well to make sure I've got the time I need to get everything lined up. Um, I can even put that down. I'm actually gonna even cut off a little bit more of this. Um, because the more I have, the more things I have to worry about sticking in the wrong places. So, I'm gonna start by just kind of seeing what angle it needs to be at. And then, That part actually got a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate that piece so I can do it entirely separately. There we go. Um, I think that won't be very noticeable and I think it'll just kind of give a cool shadow. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And then I'm gonna just kind of Go across and just keep working it into its place. Um, but because that piece is actually out of position, we're gonna just take that off and do this other piece. Using this method, it actually probably would have been easier to not cut the green in one full 
piece. Um, but I didn't think that through, so we'll just stick with what we've got. So there's that. And then go ahead and get this. And that is lined up as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it over, just give it a little bit of a, a rub. And then I'm going to take the wax paper off. And then my next step will be to take the backing off. And then our last one is the pumpkins. And I'm gonna do the same basic idea. Um, I'm gonna start with some of it not covered though. I'm just gonna kinda go from here. And I just wanna get this lined up as best I can. And there we go. I'm going to rub that bit and then just take off some more of the wax paper and do that part. So, and then call it good because um, the leaf doesn't have any of the orange. So I'm going to just flip it over, get the orange applied on there, and then we are ready to grab our bucket so here's my bucket it's got this warning label um, it doesn't come off easily I understand you can get them off but I don't want to do that just for safety reasons to be sure so I'm gonna do this and try and position it so that that's not showing and minimal handle is showing as well um, you'll see that my bucket is very dirty um, it's been getting things static to it. So I'm gonna start by just taking a coffee filter and wiping it off. I actually don't drink coffee, but coffee filters work really well um, because they don't leave lint on your projects. So I did that initial one, and now I'm gonna get a new clean coffee filter. And I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna spray it a few times um, and just go ahead and rub it down. Uh, make sure I've got all the stuff off that section that doesn't belong on there. It'll just need a moment to dry. Um, since it is rubbing alcohol, it dries very quickly. Um, and then we're going to place our design. Um, I'm just gonna try and kind of position it first just so I have an idea of where I want it. Um, and I think I like that. So what I'm gonna do, slide that over for a minute, is I'm gonna take off the backing for the orange. And I see that I didn't quite rub that well enough the first time, so I just had to rub it a little bit more with my finger. Not a big deal. And then same thing, I'm gonna do the hinge method and um, I'm going to just lay down. So I'm laying down that first side and then I'm gonna kind of rub it across. So I'm using my squeegee. Um, it applies a great amount of pressure without being too rough. It also um, curves into things a little bit nicer, which is really great. And then we're going to come and take off more of the wax paper. I'm probably going to do my last pumpkins and do the leaf in a minute. And so I'm going to just kind of hold it up and then kind of just run this down. Um, and then 
just do the same thing. Just remove this last bit of wax paper and um, kind of smooth down as I go. So we're trying to make sure we prevent as many air bubbles as possible. Um, we want to make sure it gets a good strong hold. And now let's try taking off our transfer tape and seeing if there's anywhere I didn't um, burnish well enough. So far it's looking really good. There are a few places with some bubbles um, and I'm going to try and work those out. Um, and like that one, it's not going to be totally worked out. So I'm going to actually just take my pin pen and poke it and then rub it down. Um, you won't really tell that it's anything after that, especially if you can do it somewhere that it'll kind of just um, be small and hard to notice. So So there is the design on the bucket and we are ready to fill it up and put the lights in. All right, so we have our bucket, we have our lid, and we have our submersible lights. Um, so now we're going to fill the bucket and then put the lights in and see how it looks. So now we've got it filled up with water. Um, we're just gonna take these, these ones you just twist um, on. I put three in there. You can change that based off of your design and how bright your lights are. Um, and then you can just set the top on, seal it up, and you are good to go. So here is the finished bucket all lit up. I love how it turned out. And while I won't use it for camping, I am very, very happy with it. I'm so glad you were able to join me. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've made one yourself. And until next time, bye.